So today we're going to be reading Joel chapter 2 verses 12 and 13. Now, therefore, says the Lord, turn to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. So rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God. For he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness, and he relents from doing harm. So let's look at verse 11. The Lord gives voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for strong is the one who executes his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. Who can endure it? So we see right here that God is saying, I'm going to execute my word. And if God executes his word... Woe is mankind because he's going to be bring destruction on the sons of disobedience, on the sons of wickedness. And we see that the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. Who can endure it? We see this in the book of Revelation where God's wrath is poured out onto sinful man. This is the day of the Lord. Now, whether in Joel is that reference um, in Revelation? When God executes his word, his judgment, when God executes his wrath, woe is mankind. And it's a terrible and a great day. Who can endure it? And in light of that, in verse 11, God says, Now therefore, turn to me with all of your heart, <clears throat> with fasting, with weeping, with mourning. So, Fasting, weeping, and mourning really does this characterize or display a person who is sorrowful and in, in deep despair and is grieving over something. When someone fasts, that is a sign of humbling yourself before God. God is telling us to come to him with all of our hearts in humility, being sorrowful and sorry for our wrongdoings to come and repent before him. This is an act of repentance God is calling us to do. In the time of Joel, Israel and Judah have sinned greatly before God. And God is about to enact his judgment, his word on them, according to verse 11 of this same chapter. So, God is calling the Israelites to repent. He is calling even us now to repent of our sins and all that we have done before the wrath of God is poured out on sinful man. What I like about this is in verse 13, where he says, so rend your heart and not your garments. So the act of rending the garments back in the day with the high priest was to outwardly display repentance, right? God is saying, listen, I don't need no outward display. I need to, I need to see it from your heart. So rend your heart and not your garments. God is saying it's time. Time is over for playing church. Time is over for acting like we are sorrowful and repentant of things when no real change happens. Rend your heart before God. Be truly remorseful for the sin of your life because that leads to true repentance. God is looking at our heart. He don't care about your outward actions more than he cares what's in your heart because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. We conduct ourselves based on what we carry in and believe inside of ourselves. God is asking us to get to the core, the root of the matter and rend your hearts before him. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and he relents from doing harm. So, we are reminded here, when we are repentant and rend our hearts before him, that in true repentance, God is so gracious and merciful. He wants every single human on the face of this earth to repent of their sins and turn from that and turn to him for forgiveness and sins and finding mercy and grace before him. This is the heart of God over every human being. God wants us to repent of all wrongdoing because he wants to reconcile us back to him through the person of Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters and all viewers, whether you are saved or not, I want to implore you that if God is touching your heart right now, then I implore you to repent of your sin. Ask him to forgive you and ask the Lord Jesus Christ to come and live inside of your heart. Accept his gift, free gift of salvation in exchange of your sin and the penalty that comes along with that. You will not be sorry for choosing Jesus Christ today.
And for those who are already saved, if you are in a habitual state of doing wrong, repent now. Tomorrow's not promised. Even the next second is not promised. And I want to encourage you to repent today. Repent right now of your sin and turn away from that and turn to God. Rending your heart, not your garments, not some outward display, but from your heart in which only God truly sees and knows. Thanks for watching. Please check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok for the latest content. Also, check us out on our website at www.waytruthem.org or contact us with this email address to connect with us. We are standing ready, willing to pray for you, to believe with you, and to connect with you. Also, check out our book on Amazon called What Do I Do Now? Building a Solid Christian Foundation to help you navigate through the most common questions asked by new and mature believers. May God bless you.